I apologize for my clumsiness. Please forgive me, Your Highness. I'll make you a new dressing. You're dismissed, Physician Zong. Fu Sheng will dress my wound. His Majesty has ordered me to treat your wound carefully. I dare not fail in my duty. If that's the case, I'll report your clumsiness to him and ask someone else to do it. Your Highness, I... I but I... Uh... Physician Zhong, His Highness doesn't want to bother you with such a trifle. I can take care of it. Don't you worry. Thank you, Your Highness. Sorry to trouble you, Eunuch Wall. <laughs> no problem. Good day, Your Highness. <sighs> Get this rubbish out of my sight! <gasps> Please calm down, your highness. You're seriously wounded. That Prince Sao tried to murder me in broad daylight. And tried to plant a spy next to me. Who knows if he's bribed that physician, too? Your highness, I understand your concern. But your wound requires immediate treatment. It's still bleeding. It'll be dark soon. Where can we get another physician? I'd rather bleed to death than die by his hand. <laughs> Concubine Wu has arrived! Your Highness, I was concerned, so I come to check on you. How very thoughtful of you. This is Physician Liu, well known in the city, and a longtime friend of mine. Whenever our family members feel unwell, we always go to him and no one else for treatment. I called for him specifically as soon as I learn of your condition. I have full faith in his skills, as well as his integrity. If you trust him, and so shall I. Greetings, your highness. Physician Lu, please. The arrow went deep in your arm. Fortunately, it wasn't poisoned, and the wound can be treated. And the wound can be treated. Follow my treatment plan. The bleeding will cease in three days' time. And in a month, your arm will be as good as new. Shula, take him to write the prescription. As you command. Please follow me, Physician Liu. Fusheng. Your Highness. Give Hua Tian a proper burial. Have his tablet enshrined in the temple. Make sure the bereaved are well taken care of. Yes. Through all these years, he was already ready to die for me. During the hunt and the attack, he insisted that we swap clothes, knowing that it may cost him his life. Aside from him, the others who were killed, or injured to protect me, must be compensated. Duly noted. Your Highness, the Crown Prince is gravely injured, but fortunately it's external, with the fine medicines of the Royal Pharmacy, and taking plentiful rest, he'll recover soon enough. Greetings, Your Highness, Physician Zong. Consort Yang wishes to see you at Splendid Palace. Mother, greetings to you. Your maid has come to see me right after. I went to see Physician Zong. You always know exactly where to find me, no matter what. I 
I will get straight to the point. Did you have anything to do with the accident? Did you go to Physician Zong and force him to harm Crown Prince because he's related to us? Don't be so paranoid. I understand your relationship with him. It would be far too obvious if I asked him to poison the Crown Prince. I merely went to inquire about the Crown Prince's condition. And what about the accident? Were you responsible? I did not lie to you. Yes, I did it. <sighs> Are you out of your mind? That's a serious felony, and the consequences. What am I going to do with you? If you really wish to turn me into His Majesty, then please go right ahead. I won't stop you. That Legia is so damn lucky. He's a weak and useless man, but he's got that brainy concert woo behind him. He was capable and as intelligent as her, but if not more so. Eleven years ago, when His Majesty planned to make you the Empress, you didn't seize the chance. I'll take my future into consideration. If I could have gained support from you, would I have ended up so helpless? What exactly do you want me to do? Are oh, you really going to help me? At this point, do I have any other choice? With the armor smuggling and the hunting incident, you and the Crown Prince have now become mortal enemies. If you fail in this, you'll die for certain. I adopted you when you were little and raised you by myself. I've always regarded you as my own son. There is no mother in the world who could just idly sit by and watch her own son die. Thank you, my mother. Soon there may be a commotion in the palace. Remember, you must stay far away from Prince Hao, as well as those close to him, including his mother, Consort Yang. Only with neither merit nor fault can one live a long, carefree life. <sighs> Pei Xingjian was right. The Crown Prince is in danger. Then Prince Tao must be a threat. That explains why Mother tried so hard to leave. It's never going to be safe there. Even if the Crown Prince couldn't protect himself, how could I hope to? And how can I avenge Mother's death? <sighs> if worse comes to worst, it will be blood for blood. Miss Xinyang, huh? Miss Shulan? Huh? These... These are the two underclothes that were just sent to the Crown Prince. Why are you bringing them back? Can you follow simple orders here? How many times did I tell you to make the sleeves bigger because His Highness is injured in the arm? But they're still too small. They make His Highness uncomfortable. Who made these? How careless! Uh, it's easy to make them look bigger. 
but they may not look appealing on his highness. Just do as I say. Don't worry about the rest. We know what we're doing. I understand. I'm sorry for my mistake. Rest assured, Miss Shulan. I'll have them remade immediately. Also, two sets a day isn't enough. From now on, make it three. Understood. I'll have them delivered to the Eastern Palace as soon as they're done. Chinyang, I'll start working on them now. Hao Hao, ask the Silk Warehouse for materials to make Crown Prince's clothes. If there isn't enough, go to the Eunuch House. I'm on it. I've been working on those clothes day and night without any time to finish the embroidery for the Olambana Festival, yet I'm the one to blame. Abby, have you finished your work yet? Stop pacing around like that, or Master will give you a good talking to. Shh. Keep it down. Master's in a horrendous mood and asked me to make her some winter sweet tea to help her relax. She's asked specifically for that kind of tea. Whatever is troubling her, it must be bad. Isn't she crafting Concert Young's gown for the Ulambala Festival? What could have gone wrong? Concert Young has never been ill tempered or finicky about her clothes, but for some reason, she's very particular this time. She's assigned the task specifically to Master Jewel but wasn't satisfied with any of the designs that she came up with and sent them all back. Why is she suddenly so hard to please? Could it be because she's jealous of His Majesty's new favorite concubine Wu and eager to outshine her at the festival? Sure. Get back to work. Making tea is a menial task. Let me do it. You sure seize every chance you get to fawn on Master Jewel, even including making her tea. I'm doing what I can to please you, whatever that's going to take. <sighs> well, aren't you sweet? No wonder the seniors all love you. But I don't think you're capable of this task. Why is that? This tea that Master Jewel has ordered is very special. Every year in the coldest months, she will go and collect snow from the plum blossom trees with her own hands put it in a jar, and bury it in the ground for three whole years. Then, she uses it to make tea with the roots of the same tree. On a scorching hot day like this, this tea made with the preserved melted snow will relieve the heat and leave her feeling refreshed. All that work? Just for a cup of tea? Indeed. It will help clear her head so she can work more effectively. This jar of snow water only yields one cup mm. of tea. That's why she never shares it with anyone else. Besides, Making tea is all about precision. The heat must be just perfect. Are you confident you can pull it off? Hold on, Abby. I'm a bit clumsy, but I can get the things you need and help you out that way. You'd still be responsible for the technical part. Hmm. All right, then. Go to that room and boil the snow water. It's in the small jar at the top of the cabinet. Whatever you do, don't drop it. I won't. Don't worry, Abby. that His Majesty is determined to make this year's Ulambana Festival a grand celebration. The entire harem is up in arms, dressing themselves up to look their very best. Concubine Wu is favored by His Majesty and is assisting Concert Yang with the preparations. Since other ladies all admire her and flatter her, of course Concert Yang will feel threatened. She can't stand to lose. Master Zhuo is considered to be an exceptional tailor. How come she's still not up to Concert Yang's standard? You should have seen how great the best weaver Master An was. She was truly exceptional. Concert Young once compared Master Drove Master Anne and said she was nowhere near the level in terms of skills and talent. 
How could she not be upset? So what if Anne was skilled? When I was little, my parents taught me that integrity matters much more than technique. Master Anne was wicked and disloyal, and did more harm than good to people. A sinner like her didn't deserve her title. Chuo Jinlian's actions are unforgivable. But even if she died and I got my revenge, it still wouldn't clear my mother's name. How could she ever rest in peace? Abby! Yes? That tray looks very heavy. I should carry it. Uh, there's no need. Uh, hey, what? What are you doing? I can do it myself! Uh, huh? What's going on? What the hell is wrong with you? Are you really that desperate to suck up to her? What's wrong with you? Why are you doing this to me? Abby Dulce, what's the matter? You can't even handle such a little thing? Chinyang, it's all my fault. Don't blame Abby. I'll go make some right away. You set me up, and now you're playing dumb? I never want to see you again. Enough, stop it. Master will overhear and punish you. Go make another cup. Approaching, all of you are so busy pleasing the consorts and concubines. While I get stuck with the demanding and unappreciated jobs, I finally got to fixing them all. If the garments are stained, Miss Shalom will scold me again. I'll deliver it. Uh, hey, I. Go to the West Market to fill the prescription. Pick up two doses. Yes. Don't let anyone see you. <sighs> Eunuch Wang! Hmm? Physician Do, what brings you here? Master Zhuo liked my tailoring and transferred me to her department. At present, I'm working at the wardrobe service. You can just call me Dozi. Oh. I heard the Crown Prince had been wounded. I'm here to bring him his garments and wanted to see how he's doing at the moment. Has he recovered? Huh? Hey, I'm glad you came. He's in poor spirits because of his injury. I could use your help to cheer him up. You'd be better at that than me. Come with me. Huh? <gasps> Wait until the wound has been dressed. Oh. His condition is worse than I expected. What did the physician say? His Highness doesn't believe any of them. Concubine Wu introduced someone from the outside of the palace to do the treatment. He said it's not that serious, and the arrow hadn't been poisoned, so he prescribed a salve. His Highness seemed fine the first two days, but then starting from the third day, his condition has declined, and he's had a high fever. He refuses to see any of the royal physicians. What should I do here? Your Highness, Your Highness, Yun Guang, His Highness fainted again. <gasps> Your Highness, Your Highness. Yun Guang. I worked in epidemic prevention. I have some basic medical knowledge. May I please have a look at his wound? That's right. You're a physician too. Come and have a look. <sighs> the wound is festering. The blood is black. Both are symptoms of poisoning. According to that physician, His Highness wasn't poisoned. And he even got better after treatment. Something must have led to... His sudden deterioration. What could have come in contact with his wound over the past few days? Medicine, gauze, and other clothes? Physician Lu prescribed the medicine. It did work at first. The gauze came from our storehouse. 
and is boiled right before use. The wardrobe service delivers the garments every day. Every day is well taken care of. We do not make any errors. Eunuch Wang, concubine Wu has come to visit his highness. Send her in, hurry! How is he? Is he getting any better? Consort Wu, you came just in time. His highness just fainted. What should we do? Greetings, concubine Wu. I, I had physician Lu from the city come treat him. How is it that his condition is getting worse? I did not do anything else. <laughs> if I may, Yunik Wang said that his highness had been recovering, so that physician might have nothing to do with this. It's possible that something else is wrong. His Highness is already unconscious. There's no time to waste. If the previous physician wasn't good enough, then we must find a new one. There must be someone. I agree with Doutzi. Yunik Wang, go find Pei Xingjian immediately and ask him to gather the best physicians in town to perform a consultation. The more physicians there are, the higher the guarantee. If the prescription is fine, then the cause must be something else. Let's check everything until we find out what it is. Y yes, I'm going right away. I'll have someone summon Physician Lu. Mm. If he prescribed the wrong medicine, I'll make him pay dearly. He seems to be quite sharp. Stay here and help watch over. Make sure not to neglect him. I understand. Your eyes closed. Does my wound bother you? You you're awake. How are you doing? Do you feel any better? I closed my eyes because I can't stand blood. What kind of physician are you? The people I deal with don't bleed. I've never seen such a bad wound before. I think I'm more cut out for tailoring. I see. You know what? I'm scared too. I've lost so much blood. I'm afraid that I'll never come out of this. Doza. Mm -hmm. I just dreamt of my mother. Do you think she's come to take me away? Of course not. How do you know that? I lost my mother when I was little. She was a very intelligent and kind-hearted woman. She always told me that life is the most precious thing, but in a mother's eyes, her child is more valuable than that. So if I consider myself filial, I should be good to her as well as to myself. I should care for myself to spare her from any worries. The late Empress must have wanted the same for you, no doubt. She visited your dreams to support and encourage you. That's why, no matter how dangerous the road is ahead or how difficult things get, as long as there's hope, we cannot give up on ourselves. Otherwise, our mothers up above would be disappointed. We must keep ourselves safe and live our lives as well as they had hoped. Only then can they truly rest in peace. 
You're right. I can't let her down. But do you know how tough it's been? I'm the Crown Prince. I was almost assassinated. But I still have to pretend to be fine and make peace. It's so frustrating. I don't know how to get over it. Doza. You're good at dealing with inner struggle. Let me ask you. If you were me right now, could you let all this go? Bad people wanted me dead, but I'm still alive. So they lost, didn't they? In that case, I should do better with my life. To not let them have their way. Revenge is a dish best served cold. They're afraid that I'll get back at them. And so, they'll live in constant fear. In that sense, they should be the ones who are scared. Are you saying that... they are also afraid of me? Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> that does... make me feel a lot better. Mr. Pei, you're taking us to the palace. Who exactly is the patient? I'll be right with you. He'll be treating the Crown Prince. What? <gasps> the Crown Prince? Crown Prince? Crown Prince. <laughs> Let me make this clear. If you succeed, you'll be rewarded handsomely. But if you fail in any way, then the safety of all of your clans will be at a very high risk. Do you understand? Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Master. Be gentle with him. <clears throat> Your Highness, the infection, the bleeding, and the black blood, they're all signs of poisoning. His Highness wasn't poisoned. And when he was first wounded, I gave him the best salve there is. It wasn't anything toxic. If you don't believe me, just ask them about it. I've examined Physician Lu's prescription, and also the salve. I didn't find any problems. Yes, I agree. The medicine physician Lou prescribed is correct. It's a bit pricey, but that's about it. If there's nothing wrong with the medicine, then how did his wound get poisoned? Your Highness, the physicians are right. It must have come from the medicine, the gauze, or his underclothes to find out which one it is. Let's do an experiment. What experiment?
Your Highness. The self have already starts the bleeding. That means that Physician Lu's salve is effective. The salve is fine, and so are the gauze and clothes. Then what could it be? Your Highness, please give me a bit more time. I'll get to the bottom of it. Ask the silk warehouse for materials to make the Crown Prince's clothes. If there isn't enough, go to the eunuch house. I'm on it. That's it. The silk warehouse. doing here I've thought it over it has to be his clothes that have been tampered with so after nightfall I went to the wardrobe service and I saw a maid sneaking out with some fabric heading to the silk warehouse if you hadn't interfered I would have found out who the maid was I know who she is. Her name's Tai Yue. Works for Chief Stewardess Lin. That means that Chief Stewardess Lin must be involved with this. Why would a mere stewardess attempt to poison the Crown Prince? <gasps> I remembered something. A few days ago, I overheard Abi and Shuang Ar saying how much Chief Stewardess Lin favors Tai Yue. Because she's from Prince Tao's mansion, even though she can't sell worth a damn. She's from Prince Tao's mansion. It all makes sense now.
Your Highness, the arrow, the salve, and the herbs used to soak the fabric are all free of poison. But there's something special about the herbs. Once combined with the salve, it creates a toxic substance. It won't kill immediately, but it will lead to bleeding, infection, then eventually to blood poisoning. Once it gets to that point, there's nothing we can do. We have confirmation that Prince Tao had a spy at the wardrobe service poison His Highness's underclothes. In my opinion, it's too soon to take action. Let's play along and mislead Prince Tao into thinking his plot worked. Meanwhile, we can use this time to recover before we take the next step. I'll make some new underclothes for you in secret and leave my mark on them. Those with the mark will be safe for you to wear. It's been a while since I last saw such a glow on your face. Your appearance today reminds me of when you had just arrived at the palace in your gorgeous wedding gown as the new concubine. Knock it off. That's no way for a maid to talk. Why are you so happy about seeing his majesty today? I'm not going to see him. The crown prince has almost recovered. I'm going to visit him. Your Grace, Yuna Gao would like to know if you're going to visit His Majesty. He told me that His Majesty is taking a nap. He should be up in about an hour. Tell him I'm so tired from last night. I'll stop by later. Understood. Your Highness, Consort Wu is outside. Let her in. Yes. Greetings. You look dashing, Your Highness. You must have recovered well. Thank you for your concern. My wound is healed. I'll soon have a full recovery. It's just that staying indoors all day to fake the illness has taken its toll. I miss the outdoors. Please hold out for a few more days. We need more time to have the wardrobe service make some new garments for you. Thou sent a false message to Prince Tao and Consort Yang's spy, just as an added measure. Don't worry. I went there yesterday and made a huge scene. I said that Crown Prince is getting sicker and he is going to need more clothes. Well done. Is that... really Bauer?
间。